Hi everyone, this is another update on some various things I've been working on. One is uh, something I did yesterday, um, which basically I got another long shot recently. It was a trade with a friend for some stuff. <clears throat> um, really, I got it for a steal because she didn't want very much for it. Um, and it was another blue long shot, so, and it was completely stock, and I got the front gun too, which is sitting back there. Which, I mean, it's front gun, so. It was nice to have it, though. But, <clears throat> essentially, um, I needed a blaster to use last night for the nerf battle, so I decided to just do some very basic modifications to this long shot. I put a stock block in it, I put a little stub of brass in the breech, um, 1730 seconds, I think it was, just to give the darts a better seal, and I put a raider spring that I just had around in with the stock spring, and I put my pump grip on it which required a little bit of modification to the blaster itself. I had to um, cut off the bi- I had to remove the bipod entirely and cut off part of the little um, little round things that they fit into and then I had to cut off part of this to make room for this to move but it just works beautifully. And that's deep priming it. And actually, I can just do that to deep prime it because I took out the lock too. But, um, uh, yeah, there's a stock block. Oh, I should probably take the darts out of this clip. But actually, I might as well fire them off, since I have a clip ready. I didn't think I did, and I wasn't going to bother to prepare one. But, <clears throat> here we go. That was six darts. And then one thing I didn't anticipate was it's very difficult to remove the clips on this blaster because of the way I made the, um, the, um, the pump grip. Uh, I essentially built it specifically for my other long shot, which has a little trigger here, which is linked to the clip release, which means I can just pull that little trigger and take the clip out. Whereas with this, it doesn't have that since I just did very basic modifications, and that completely covers up the clip release, so I have to dig my finger in there to actually take the clip out. But it's not a huge deal. I don't really mind that much, since I usually just, well, I mean, I only used it once or twice last night, because mostly I was using my Titan rifle, and this was just um, something I was carrying around in case I needed to <coughs> fend off the horde coming after me, which I did. I say fired off a lot of shots, which didn't hit. Another thing I'm gonna need to do is probably file down that brass a bit, because I think it might be wrecking a few of the darts, so I'll have to make sure that that's all very smooth. Oh yeah, here's one of them that got messed up. It's You can see it got bent a bit and torn a little, so I'll have to figure that out. And the s so that's all pretty good. I mean, I didn't put any major power improvements in it because I had very short time and I didn't want to have to uh, reinforce the bolt sled or the catch spring, which adding the raider spring adds some nice power. I mean, it gets pretty consistent um, 60 to 70 feet with stock streamlines. I mean, it's not really particularly accurate at those ranges, but closer up it's pretty good. And the second thing that I wanted to talk about was um, the paint job that I'm going to be doing for this long shot, which is still, I'm still working on the internals. It's been having some stress problems and things collapsing and breaking, but I'm working on that. <clears throat> and, uh, well, the snap pistol works fine, I believe. Let me see, where's the barrel for that sucker? Um, well, I had a barrel for it. Yeah, it's somewhere. But essentially, I found the paint that I'm going to be using. Um, it's basically a very deep green. This is actually the color of the paint itself. I got it at my local art store. It's an acrylic paint. You can kind of see in there. It's very, very deep, rich green. And then I wanted a metallic shine to it, so I just decided to try mixing in some silver paint 
which is basically the same brand. And I just use a very small amount of silver paint whenever I'm mixing it in with the green. And it lightens the green up a bit, because it's a very, very deep. <clears throat> but it lightens it up a bit and adds that metallic shine that I really wanted. And I tested it first on my snap pistol, and I just got finished painting it today. Um, I've still got to put a clear coat on, but I'll do that tomorrow because I have to actually go back to the art store to pick up a clear coat, which I didn't get because I didn't have the money at the time. But um, here it is. I really like the color of this, and it's all just one color for now. I'll probably add some accents at some point later. Um, yeah, I'll have to touch that up a bit before I put the clear coat on. And um, I didn't paint the entire priming handle just because, I mean, that's going to get scratched and stuff, and I just didn't want to bother with it. But um, I also fired this, t I also, um, I put in a new spacer in the back of three quarter inch CPVC to give the spring more complete compression, and now it's pretty much perfect. I mean, there's maybe about a sixteenth of an inch of wiggle, but I mean, I'm not going to make an entire new spacer and measure it to within millimeters just to try to get perfect compression. Dennis, you might do something like that, but uh, <clears throat> you know. But when I did that, and I actually tested it with one of my chainmail slugs, which is, here we go, one of these things. I take little Mobius balls. Um, if you didn't, if you don't know what that is, look it up, look up on Google Images, like chainmail Mobius ball. And I took little three ring Mobius balls made from 18 gauge, 3 sixteenths inch interior diameter rings. And I just made one of those for each of these darts and put a little Naga hide pad over the top of it with the hot glue in it. And it's very sturdy, they're good darts. <clears throat> and with my hot glue tip darts, like, basically this is just kind of a crappy one that I made out of some of the glow in the dark foam. I stuck a straw in the back and filled the tip up with hot glue. These actually fly, fly pretty well. They fly a lot straighter than I expected. I was inten originally intending to rifle these, but I don't think I actually have to. Um, these maybe get 75, 80 feet. My chainmail slugs get 90 feet flat. Um, well, actually, maybe upwards of 95, because I'm basically doing my range tests in a hallway, and it's about 90 feet from one of the doors to the far other door on the other side. And whenever I fire these chainmail slugs, it'll hit the door on the other side, pretty low on the door, but if that door weren't there, we'd get another couple feet of range, so <clears throat> it's getting pretty damn good range. And oh, I've already got a dart in there. And it's very satisfying. Oh, there it went. But yeah, I'm very happy with this thing, and this will definitely be my pistol if I go to any wars, if I can actually get myself out to any wars. One of these days, there we go. But yeah, I'm very happy with this paint job. Um, whenever I do it on the long shot itself, I'm going to be adding some copper accents, um, little pieces of sheet copper that I will detail and f polish and finish, and then I'll put those on the side probably screw them in or something like that. And I don't know if I'm going to be doing any kind of copper accenting with this. I just might not bother. But yes, I'm very happy with the paint job and it's definitely going just how I'd like it to. And I might actually be able to get the entire paint job on the long shot done with just that one little jar of green paint. I might need to buy another. Um, but I can get a lot of area out of that paint. Um, it's making me very happy. So, have a great day.